What's good, everyone? I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. And I hope you're staying at home. So I really struggled to get this video out because I was just spending time crafting the scripts. Of course, there's a lot going on right now. So I didn't really have as much time as I usually do to spend on YouTube videos. So I, yeah, now I'm here. We move and more videos coming for your faces. So a couple of weeks ago, my friends were grilling me about why don't you quit your job? Why don't you work on your ideas full time? You've got your savings there. Why not just live off your savings and then build your businesses full time? At the time, I didn't have a good answer for them. But after thinking about it for a while, I realized that the reason is because of risk. Is it a good idea to go all in on your business idea and see what happens? What if it fails? Is it a good idea to sell all your belongings and buy Bitcoin. No, it's not. Don't do that. What do you use? What strategy do you use to decide how much risk you should take? Let's talk about the barbell strategy. Put simply, it's a technique that investors use to manage their risk. Usually they'll split their money 50-50 and put half of their money in safer long-term investments and the other half of their money in riskier short-term investments. Everything in the middle that is medium risk, they will just ignore it. If you draw that out in a diagram, you can kind of see that it looks like a barbell. If you're looking for more technical context on the subjects, I definitely would recommend you read Anti-Fragile. So the first thing I did to decide how I'm going to use the barbell strategy was find out what my risk tolerance was. So for me, I'm not a super high risk, risk taking person. I am comfortable with an 80-20 split. So anything above 20% risky makes me a bit uncomfortable. So the first area that I applied this to was my work. Uh, I work about 80% of my productive time at my full-time job and 20% of that productive time on my side projects. So that's about 50 hours in my full-time job and about 12 hours on my side projects. So my side projects include this YouTube channel that I'm building up right now and working on building web apps. So I have a bunch of app ideas I want to build out right now that I'm currently coding up and working on and soon I'm going to launch some products. So look out for those. If you want to see some Twitch streams of me building those, let me know. I don't know what you guys are looking for. So I'm just testing things out here. But yeah, that's the second thing that I work on. Um, that's why I spend 20% of my time on. So that is working weekday evenings and also working on my weekends as well, spending about 20% of the time. So the reason why I work on them for a few hours every weekend and every weekday and not full time is because if these projects fail, it's not an issue to me. Um, I only spent 20% of my time and energy on these. So if they fail, it's fine. So I'm based in London and I've joined something called The Weekend Club, which is a good way for me to carve out part of those 12 hours on working on my side projects. Right now, I'm actually shooting this video during a Weekend Club session. All it is is that like-minded creators gather and they work on their independent businesses and hold each other accountable on Saturdays. So if you're interested in anything like that, if you're interested in working with other independent creators and launching profitable businesses, then get in touch. See the link below. This is not sponsored. So the second area which I'm using the barbell strategy to manage my risk is in my finances. I actually aim to build up my finances in a pyramid structure. So at the base of the pyramid, I have my emergency fund, my cash savings, then I have my investments, then I have my riskier investments. So I aim to have 80% of my investments in my emergency fund and my long-term safe investments and the 20% of my investments in short-term riskier investments. Everything in between, anything medium-term is ignored. Here's a breakdown of how I'm currently arranging my finances. So the arrangements you just saw are definitely not final. It's my learning process right now. I'm going through it. Currently, I'm on the 80%. I have not started on the 20% yet. I'm just building out my cash savings and my safe investments. And then I'm going to get to that 20% very soon. So please use it as inspiration, but please do not copy what I'm doing. It's going to change. So please, please, this is not investment advice. This is not investment advice. 
This is just what I'm doing right now. I'm documenting it for YouTube to see. But tell me, should I make a more detailed topic on how I actually came to the conclusions of building that financial pyramid? Let me know in the comments below if that's what you're interested in. Do you wanna see more of a breakdown of how all of this works? Let me know. So another area that I'm exploring applying the barbell strategy to right now is my fitness. I haven't done it yet, but I'm exploring spending 80% of my time on moderate cardio and then 20% of my fitness time on lifting proper heavy weights. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, so if you have any ideas in that area, let me know. If you know any other areas of life that I could apply the barbell strategy to, or you are also applying the barbell strategy to right now, please let me know. I want your ideas. I want to share. Let's have a conversation, please. So now that you've learned about what the barbell strategy is and how you can apply it to your work, to your finances, and even maybe to your fitness, let me know how do you actually plan on applying what you've learned today. So please actually leave a comment below. It helps with my channel. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. It helps me get this channel off the ground. And please subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.